The terrifying moments on board a school bus filled with high school students. That accident playing out. Take a look on surveillance video. A van sending that bus barreling across a highway, tipping it over. Tonight, what that van driver is accused of. Details from ABC's Adrian Bankert. Tonight, another close call. A school bus carrying 31 high schoolers flips over. Police tell ABC News the driver of a van allegedly under the influence pulled in front of the bus. The two vehicles collide, the bus toppling, skidding hundreds of feet. Five students rush to the hospital. It all just happened really fast. It was like a nightmare that came true. Thank the Lord for helping you survive through a moment like this. And in Ohio, this newly released video captures students thrown from their seats as the bus crashes into an SUV. They were all okay. In both crashes, there were no seat belts. That's the case in most school buses in the U.S. Seat belt manufacturers say crash tests like this show three-point restraints can reduce injuries by up to 50%. Look at the kids who aren't buckled in. They go flying. 17 states are considering school bus seat belt bills this year, but that could cost school districts tens of millions of dollars. On average, six children die in school bus crashes each year. That's out of the 23 million students riding. So the federal government says even without seatbelts, school buses are safe.